the ozone layer earth shield against harmful ultraviolet radiation is steadily recovering montreal protocol a global treaty adopted in 1987 successfully phased out nearly 100 man-made chemicals responsible for ozone depletion including cfcs and hcfcs According to the recent studies if current environmental policies remain in place the ozone layer is expected to return to 1980 levels by 2066 over Antarctica 2045 over the Arctic and 2040 for the rest of the world However, the recovery process has seen unexpected shifts. In 2020, during the COVID-19 lockdowns, global nitrogen oxide emission dropped by 15% with local reductions reaching 50%. This led to a sharp decline in ozone pollution, an achievement that would have otherwise taken 15 years through conventional policies. Satellite data revealed an 8% increase in India's total ozone column while Europe saw reduced background ozone pollution in rural areas. Although emissions have rebounded post pandemic, the relation remains clear. Drastic reductions in pollutants can lead to rapid environmental improvements. Moving forward, scientists and policymakers aim to replicate these benefits through sustainable strategies ensuring the ozone layer's recovery stays on track. while managing future risks the montreal protocol stands as a testament to effective global cooperation